Hi from the Shakespeare Festival on what is going to be a very hot Sunday. I can already feel it out there. We had 93 yesterday. I think we'll be very close to 93 today. And yes, the sun did rise. Let's try to forget yesterday's football results. Uh, some of us hurting more than others, but uh, let's talk some weather and let's get you ready for the week ahead. So that weak cool front you see on the map here at midday is not going to be a big player, not a big deal. There could be a few specks of showers on the radar later on this afternoon, but I don't think it's going to be extensive. Rain chances running about 10% today. Then the front makes it down to the Gulf Coast on Monday, tomorrow. And again, uh, we'll put in a 20% mention of an isolated shower, but uh, most of us will stay dry. So we're looking for 93 today, 89 uh, tomorrow and Tuesday, and that's it for summer. Summer, uh, the last full day of summer is on Tuesday. That's good news. Boy, we could use some rain. The drought monitor map indicating color now on 66% of Alabama, either the yellow or the peach, which is moderate drought. Um, we could sure use some rain. I don't see anything extensive coming up anytime soon. Fall officially arrives. The autumnal equinox is Wednesday uh, at 3.20 a.m. in the morning. Meanwhile, we are checking the tropics, and we see Tropical Storm Ida is still out there. It is a very disorganized, minimal tropical storm. It's a fish storm moving out and not a concern to us. I don't see anything else in the tropics that I'm particularly worried about. We're looking ahead to Friday, and we see an easterly flow developing around a high pressure over the northeastern U.S. Now, what that will do is bring in somewhat cooler temperatures. For instance, by the time we get into the upcoming weekend, you know, we're talking about lower 80s compared to lower 90s this weekend. That's a step in the right direction. And that's not the only thing. As we look at dew points, which will be lower, we're talking about lower humidity as we get towards next weekend. And that's something to look forward to. I would like to tell you that I see some cold fronts ahead over the next 10 or 15 days that look really significant, but I don't see anything yet. We'll keep an eye on that and I'll let you know. I hope you have a great Sunday and a great week ahead. I'll talk to you later, okay?